America decides in just 10 days. Election day now less than two weeks out. But already there have been a huge number of North Texans who have cast their ballot in the growing popularity of early voting. More than 200,000 in each of our four largest counties have already been to the polls. Still, some groups are trying to get even more people engaged because this is the only weekend of early voting before that main election day. Our Olivia Leach joins us live now. She is in Oak Cliff tonight in Dallas, and there's a party going to the polls tonight. Olivia? There is, Jason. Yeah, organizers tell me that this party at the polls event is really all about getting people of the Oak Cliff community of Dallas excited about voting so that they make it to the polls in the days ahead. And what's unique about this Get Out the Vote event is that we are literally steps away from the Four Oak Cliff Community Center, which serves as a polling place. Voters can come here, enjoy the live music and food, and then simply walk over to vote, and it takes just a few minutes. From live music to giving out vital information about how to vote in the days ahead, organizations across Oak Cliff and Dallas came together for the first and only weekend of early voting to get voters of all ages excited about casting their ballots. It was an afternoon filled with live music and community. Organizers are also applauding a recent decision by the Dallas County Commissioner's Court to extend early voting hours for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week to 9 p.m. those days. The polls were originally set to close at 7 p.m. What I wanted to do is to motivate the community to come out and vote, and especially since I saw last night that the Dallas election office had extended the hours uh, from 7 to 9 for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. The importance of the black vote matters, and so we have to get out and make our voices heard. We have to teach our youth the importance of getting out so that their voice can be heard. Now, when you head to the polls, you're going to want to make sure you have one of the acceptable forms of ID to vote here in Texas. We have a list of those acceptable forms of ID. You can bring a Texas driver's license, a Texas election ID certificate, Texas personal identification card, a Texas handgun license, U.S. military ID, a U.S. citizenship certificate, and even a U.S. passport to vote. Now, the poll here in Dallas closed at 7 p.m. tonight, so you have a few more minutes. If you haven't made it there. But of course, there's many more days of early voting and of course, voting on election day left. Jason. Olivia, thanks. I expect it will be a busy second week of early voting, just like it's been for the first week.